Hello students. Today I'm going to show you how to use REPL to work with Python. Uh, REPL is a website uh, that you can create a free account on. Uh, once you create your free account, you can log in and you will see a home screen that looks something like this. They make changes every once in a while, but the basic idea is here. Um, REPL is great because there are so many different programming languages that you can play around with and you can easily share your code with other people without having to download um, programming languages and interpreters to your local computer. So I could be working on this at school, I could be working on it at home, switch between uh, a laptop or a desktop and my code is here. So uh, one thing to note, this is, while you can share your code, uh, REPL is not intended to be like a, uh, you know, a place that you would put your website on permanently or anything like that. It's more of a sandbox for you to play around with. So to get started with REPL, after you log into your account, uh, the first thing you wanna do to start working is you want to create a new REPL. Now you can do that over here in the right hand by clicking on the blue plus button or you can come over to the left side where it says create and you'll get that same screen. So basically the way this works is there are so many different programming templates is what they call them. There's tons of them on here um, and what we're going to do for Python is we're going to use the one that says Python. So there's a whole bunch, if you look through here, that have Python in it, but this is the one that we're gonna wanna use. Uh, the next thing that you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna want to change the title. So they create a random title for you, which is awesome, but it's not real helpful when you go back to look at your code and look at something that you are um, trying to find something that you've worked on. So I would put this, um, well, I'm just going to call this like uh, Python uh, test for now. Okay, now, um, since this is a free account, everything that I do is publicly available. If you want to have private um, REPLs, then you need to purchase a plan to, uh, to be able to have that function. Okay, so here we go. This is what the screen uh, looks like for Python. Looks a little a little different and depending on what sort of languages you're using, it uh, comes with a one file that says main.py. So everything in REPL needs to be run from the main.py file. You can't like rename this. Uh, if you rename it, it's just not going to run. So you'll want to have that main.py file. You can always add other files that you can then import into main.py, but that's a little bit more advanced. So for the majority of what we're going to be doing is we're going to be working with that main.py. So um, you'll have this placeholder code as soon as you start uh, typing. Uh, we It will go away. So here is our, our uh, hello world um, in Python. Python doesn't have any semicolons. Uh, you're going to click run and then this will be your little console output window that your program will output to. Okay, so uh, let me show you a couple little things. So print hello world, that is just one way of, um, of outputting to the screen. Uh, let's say we want to create a variable called my name. I always uh, like to start with Tony Stark. Okay, so let's just say first name equals Tony, last name equals Stark. Oops, totally didn't spell that right. Okay, so if I wanted to print out um, one of these values, I can say print first name, again, run. Let's see what it looks like. Remember, Python is case sensitive, like most programming languages. So if I do a mistake in my variable naming, you'll notice that this has a lowercase n, there will be a little red squiggly line. If you just hover your mouse over, it'll tell you what the error is, undefined name, first name. So that means, hey, you're, you're trying to print out something that I don't know, I have no idea what this is, right? So that's the interpreter telling you there's a problem here. Then you can go and take a look at your 
variable and fix that. But let me show you if I was to run that, I'm going to get an error right here. So it's pretty cool. It tells you line six, hey, there's a problem. Name, first name is not defined. Never fear, that's typically a typo, but it could be that you're referencing something you haven't created yet. But once I change that to the correct uh, variable name, it'll work. Um, if you want to put some spaces in between your uh, program output, you can just put print with nothing inside of it, and that will give us a nice blank line. If I want to print both the first and last name, I can say first name, comma, last name. What the comma does, it concatenates things, but it also includes a space. So it's really nice. I don't have to say first name plus space plus last name. So let's take a look and see what that works. So see, it goes right to Tony Stark. I can also print it out this way. Uh, first name plus space plus last name. And let's see if that does the same thing. So which, which do you prefer, right? Um, I prefer using that comma. The comma comes in handy quite a bit. Um, if I want to print out a string that says, hello, my name is, remember, put that comma on the outside and it will put that space there for you. And then first name, last name, and then run. There you go. So, uh, oh, and then you can put a put a period in there and make it a sentence. Oh, see, that doesn't work with the with the comma. So there you go. So if you don't want a space, you can use the plus sign. Um, so that's basically the, uh, the way that we are going to work with um, our REPL code. Uh, what you can do then when you are ready to send this file to me, your instructor, if you were sending it to someone else, you're just going to copy this URL from the top of the window. Uh, it can either say main.py or it can just be the name that you called it. Okay, and then it loads up that main anyway. Do not use the invite button uh, because if you use the invite button, the person has full control over your code. So don't share by using the invite button. Um, you can just pass that link at the top and then it'll be read only for the person that is viewing your code. Uh, if you make a mistake or you accidentally go and hit some button and you delete all of your code, there is this little REPL history. Um, let's see, it might not have saved my work. Let me see if I can come in here. Uh, so right here, this is, isn't that cool? It's like a history of all of your coding. So if I accidentally did something, I can come backwards and, and then restore it to the version that I would like. And there it is again. So uh, that is that. And I hope you have fun with REPL. Um, it's a really great tool to use. Occasionally, they do some updates and your um, they might have a slight little error from being able to run your code, but it's, it's very infrequently. Just know that it happens. If you're having a problem, um, you can ask one of your classmates if they're having the same problem to know if, if it's a problem with the system or not. Okay, so good luck. Have fun. Uh, message me if you need any help. Thanks. Bye.